it was no, always. No, no, this question is the 10 percent applies to only entry level people or total people? No, no, entry is always on entry level. So no, why should I have your... Uh, no, 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 but apprentice is always on the entry level, not can be uh, no, for people for making, an, for making an application, the uh, total population should I consider the entire population of my organization or only the entry level that I am asking? It is entire population. But the population would be entire, but the uh, only the people who would be engaging yeah, for yeah, the entry level only. Next question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, propose a contract labor amendment. They are saying only 10,000 rupees. Okay. Uh, but then they have not specified a uh, semi skilled, skilled, unskilled. You know, so uh, it will create a more confusion. Right? So by default, it will be unskilled. Yeah. Yeah, but what will happen to skilled then? You know, so what, what will be his uh, minimum? You know, so you have not always disturbed certain levels. Please arrest for unskilled people, not semi skilled, unskilled because he bargains it. He has the bargaining power to get more. It's okay, right? The basic. Yeah, the Unskilled, semi skill and skilled as per right now will hardly be few thousand to hundred rupees. Yeah. But they are specified. So, when actually the law is implemented, I hope I'm so sure that they will specify that as well. So, right now they want the bare minimum 10,000 will be the basic, you know, uh, that is the unskilled wages would be 10,000. One more question, even uh, factories are also they are saying. Uh, and we don't have a cross discussion, please. Yeah, one point, please. One discussion, please. One uh, uh, amendment, you know, I think whether it is coming or not, I don't know about factories. Act. So, whether with aid, you know, they are raising that uh, to 20 40. versus 20 versus with uh, aid. Without aid, is 40. So, so is, is that coming? So, again, it's, it's not if, uh, you know. Already it has come from 1st of February 2016. This is Maharashtra. The 40, so we have the notification here. Already it has come from the 1st of February 2016. Already notification has been effected. What is it? She wants clarification. What notification has been effected? This is under Maharashtra Kaki rules. What rules are there? It is the same notification which I have. So I have not. So this is under the same notification in fact, could you see? It's a definition of factory. Definition of factory. Definition of factory. Next question. Hello. Hi, sir. This is Suhas here. Uh, first of all, compliment to you, Pati, for excellent presentation and enlightening us on this subject. Uh, but this question is to respected Pagar, sir. Uh, sir, uh, this uh, question is uh, referring to splitting of wages. Okay? Uh, if an em employer, to what extent an employer is allowed to split wages if the wages are slightly higher than the minimum break of wages? I am referring to AFL judgment, uh, meaning companies are taking help of it. Right? So, what is the stand government at the moment taking in terms of inspecting, asking the employers to enforce the law in its totality? As the health requirement, what it said is it should not less than minimum wages. What is the consolidation? So what is the consolidation? The cross. There is no splitting is already been given. There is no splitting is given. Only when notification is been gone by the appropriate government, either it may be central government or the state government. In that matter, they fix the basic wages plus special allowance is concerned with the consumer price index. So this is the basic thing. When clubbing together, basically, what is coming out to be X amount. There is no provision in the law or the every decision also that you any any guidelines for that. How much it will split it? But there's no splitting is there. Uh, uh, judgment says if the wages are more, if the gross wages are yes. more than the minimum wages, yes. the employer is not doing an illegality if these yes. wages are split into different companies. So there is no illegality. Because in consolidation it should be more than minimum wages. That is what the requirement is there. How you split it? Okay. Whether it's a 40, 20, 30, 30, 30, 10, 10, 10, 10. It is for you to decide. But it should be regulated to every month. It cannot be a part for the part month or for the quarterly. Sir, it should I would not like be like to that. Know the, uh, the department's view to what extent it is allowed, whether you know, uh, or, this, uh, or, so, or, or rather overlooked by the department because many instances 
the department has taken a serious serious view I think, you know, as far as Labour Department is concerned, they have never taken any issues. The issues is taken by PF Department, not Labour Department. And that, that, that also is extremely and that has been settled down. And, and, and that is now, I see, if you see the Bridget Roof case, and you know, there are a lot of cases, now Bridget Roof case is a classic example where PF, what it should be, how, what it should come, because a lot of the PF officers they are putting... We move, it is settled, we have already said that no department has any authority to decide what should be basic, what should be there. Right. When you are cross, and this is, this is what the average was yeah. held that that this put the notice. Yes. My question is to Mr. Uh, Pagar, sir. Uh, since you have closely worked in the state government, this, the Pandav uh, Pangaru Dattatra has found out a backdoor route of changing the contract labor to that uh, minimum conditions of 10,000 in the central rules. It is already in place right now. So is the state government likely to follow the same route? It, it becomes a guidelines from the state government. We will have to follow the government before it depends upon the state government. Central government cannot enforce that you do accordingly. Central government, central government never cannot enforce by constitution that you do this way only. Uh, yes. so it is at the liberty of the state government. Yes, they give the guidelines. So, till the state government doesn't amend, it is not binding. It is not binding. But, sir, uh, just clarify the conclusion. It is notified for inviting objections and response. I don't think it has become uh, yet. No, no, it is proposed. It is proposed. It is not proposed. It is not proposed. It is not proposed. It has itself come from the government. One thing, what Pindakar has said is, you will proceed with the incumbent at this time. It will be applicable only when the central government is the appropriate government. Only in respect of those things, otherwise, first state fiscal option is will be open. Since, since you use that word appropriate government, I had one question which I want to ask. Uh, there are organizations who have presence in more than one state. Uh, and uh, the question comes if they have a general staff and unions, whether MRTU Act is applicable to them. <laughs> and uh, um, uh, yeah, so many a times the stand is taken that uh, MRU would be applicable for the units within the state of Maharashtra, but not outside. So what is the correct? Uh, correct question is whether the state government, the state government, where state government, the state government, there only the MRU in the state will be there. Yeah. Otherwise, it is applicable. If state is not appropriate government, MRU is not applicable. See, MRU Act is actually a state enactment. Like the state actor. Where the state is appropriate government. If you are the Maharashtra, if central undertakings are there, next question. If you are applicable to central undertakings, where central government is appropriate. Yeah, yeah. Any, any other questions, clarifications? Any, sir? Just small question. You said uh, leave it wages is not applicable. Not in cash on monthly basis or quarterly basis, but in case of contractual employees where the turnover is high, so still the person work more than three months or six months and we are not in cashing or we are uh, in cashing on a monthly basis. Is it correct or wrong? Wrong. Actually. There's no provision unless until he exits from the employment. It, would, it is only on the situation of employment accommodation uh, in cash will be there. But if the turnover is higher, people is not working more. That you need to administratively, uh, you need to administratively basically see. Leave when you talk about his privilege, you have to give a privilege of him to enjoy that privilege. Leave cannot be encashed just because you want to be administratively correct and manage your and I have a very huge attrition rate. And because I don't know when my person will leave and go, I want to give him on a monthly basis. You will, uh, you are basically reducing that privilege given or entitled. But you disentangling the privilege given to the employee by not giving him leave and uh, giving money for him. You're making him work, and uh, actually that is wrong. In fact, you're making him work. What you say is absolutely correct. Leave is for enjoyment, not for the encashment. Basically, the encashment is only possible or is necessary only when he's ceasing to be the employment. So you cannot go for the every monthly level. Okay, corporate level working for the 30 days or for 20 days. Sir. For one and a half day, I will give additional uh, leave payment. No, that is not being permitted. What happens, sir, when leave is re refused and then it is exceeding the limit allowable, uh, accumulation allowable under the act? Then do you have to. What, what is the alternative? Like when you are refusing, it's actually a certain thing that has to be given. 
exemption for three years uh, of uh, nine laws for the startups. Now, normally, I mean, by common parlance, people understand the startup as technology firms. But then what is it that here? I mean, does it apply to all se to segments of industry? One thing is startups, there is no cause for the exemption. Basically, one thing. It is only inspection will not be carried out by the inspectors. Under those nine laws. Under those nine laws, provided he gave the sales certification. There is no cause, there is no exemption. Okay. No, 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 no exemption. There is no exemption. I mean, there was. It was written. Yes, there is mean, no exemption. On the slide. Inspection, that's what I mean. All right. So, exemption for the inspection for the first three years, and where you need to do a sales certification. Sir, one question. We are basically. Good evening. Sir, I have a question. We are in the basically facade industry, uh, wherein our uh, company is not manufacturing anything as such. But still we are covered, head office is covered under factories act. But the sites, wherever workers work, they, there we have to follow BOCW act. So I wanted to understand if our workers or our sites are out of Maharashtra. Say for example, Goa, we have a site or MP. So there, while giving wages, which one we follow? Because our head office is in state. Maharashtra or state. Wherever your location is of the state, that state you have we have to follow. Of that state, you and have to what follow. about contract labor? Because we have a huge contract labor as well.